Welcome to Get Moving TV. I'm Dr. Chris Landon, and I serve as your host. Childhood literacy is so important, and what we do in the first five years, we all think of kindergarten as being a time when kids are starting to learn how to read, and we know that it starts much before that. More importantly, reading gives an opportunity for a parent to interact with a child, to show a child that reading is an important activity for them. Even a child just seeing you reading a magazine tells them that they want to be like you and, and want reading to be part of their lives. We've been working with First Five and in reaching out into the community, we've come across more and more partners all the time. Uh, one of those partners is here with us today, Lori Carnes. Lori, uh, Principal Librarian, could you yeah. tell us a little bit about uh, your own background and how mm -hmm. you've gotten involved in this program? Well, I've been excited about children and reading for 40 years, and I've been a children's librarian most of those years. I'm a parent, I'm a grandparent, and I love to see kids just light up and get that aha moment when they're involved with reading, whether being read to aloud or they read it for themselves. So this project came by and it was too good to pass up and we thought that um, it should be done. And what, what's the name of this project? It's called Ventura Reads and it's a grant that we received from the VEP to do a prototype DVD that models for parents really effective ways to use books in the home. Um, ways to take the book and spin out to a field trip with the family, do a cooking experiment, make a sock puppet, um, do rhyming action games, and um, we're hoping that it gets distributed through the pediatric clinics so kids can watch that instead of maybe Spongebob. And um, we'd like to also have it in the Ventura County libraries and distribute through the preschools. Uh, VEP, what's VEP? I'm not sure. Ventura Educational Partnership, I believe, is the name. Um, the grant was obtained by my coworker, Cynthia Hansen, who mm -hmm. is also an educator and a drama coach. So she's bringing a lot of the drama expertise to the project, and I'm bringing the books. Well, Ventura Reads, that's uh, what a great title. Yes. Uh, and w for me as a pediatrician, I have so many kids who are trapped inside their houses. I worry about asthma as they're exposed to cockroach and mice and mm -hmm. uh, dust mites and all that. And I really want to get kids outside. Uh, and I'm very excited about this approach where you take a book, but you turn it into an outside activity. Uh, are, are, there, uh, are you looking for partners? Uh, who, who do you see partnering up with you in terms of making this uh... happen? Yes, we're looking for the um, first five of Ventura to do possibly partnering with Reach Out and Read. We have uh, partnerships already with CAPS and uh, the TDC. We're looking for talented people to help us, maybe celebrities that might want to lend name recognition to the project. We're also looking for uh, creative anecdotes from parents who have used books in an effective way beyond the read aloud, but taken the child maybe on a field trip or did something that was exciting to make the child see really the value of reading. We, uh, as you know, contract with the first five for the Reach Out and Read program, and Maggie Park, our, our physician in charge, is going to talk about that a little bit later. Uh, what's, it's that active reading, I guess, that's the most important part for me about Reach Out and Read, pointing to the pictures in the book, and really, it's not just the words on the page, it's that 20 minutes a day that we want a parent to spend with their child. Uh, are there activities through the libraries that, where people, parents can go and help uh, get this kind of modeling? Yes. We have story times in almost all of our libraries. Uh, parents can come, it's free. We say preschoolers, but that's because most of the story times are in the day. Any age can come. We have homeschoolers attend. There usually is three really exciting books along a theme, finger plays, action rhymes, songs. Oftentimes those are repeated and the child might sit there absolutely quiet during the whole story time and then sing the whole way home in the car. So we know that it made an impact. Well, that's it. With our reach out and read, with every well child visit uh, during the first five years, a child will get a book to take home with them, and they just—it's exciting to see a uh, eighteen-month-old grab the book, look around, and see that this book is is now theirs. Uh, in in the library, can parents check out books for uh, for their children? Mm -hmm. Ventura County Library unlimited book checkout, up to fifty items. That's three for store, three for nap time for uh, about 21 days, if you repeat a few. Um, they can check out books for the whole family. The library cards are free. We have 
um, also an adult literacy program that can help a parent who might want to brush up on their reading skills. Um, that's also free. Uh, most of the other libraries in Ventura County have similar programs too. So although I'm pitching Ventura County for this project, it could include Thousand Oaks, Oxnard, Blanchard, Santa Paula. Now with Ventura Reads, uh, if you could be a little more specific as you mm -hmm. know this is going to be seen by uh, viewers out there, uh, what kind of partners are you looking for? We've, we've talked celebrities. Uh, mm -hmm. Any celebrities that have been interested in, in literacy in the, in the Central Coast here? Oh, we have a number of them, um, but for other projects. Tony mm -hmm. Shalhoub came out to an Ojai Shorts program. We've had Peter Strauss help us and uh, Larry Hagman. Um, uh, the other names escape yeah, me right I now. I think we were talking about Bo Bridges earlier. Bo Bridges, he's been yeah, a he's been a big, a big um, library supporter too. So um, we're, we're looking for anybody that will help us especially if they have a Hispanic background or speak Spanish, that would be double dynamite for us. I think one of the other things we've seen is the Mixteco uh, uh, Indians uh, don't have a written language, and so we work very hard with, uh, with them in terms of uh, instructional literature and, and really how do you interact with Ventura County. Uh, in terms of other things that you might, uh, might need, are you looking for writers? Uh, are you looking to work with the local uh, like we were talking earlier, Foothill Technology High School certainly is, uh, if you're out there, we want to work with you, Foothill Technology High School. Uh, are there any other partners that have come to mind or uh, skill areas that you need? Well, I think right now um, we have a lot of ideas. We don't have a lot of technical background for producing these. We do have the seed money to make the first prototype. So folks that have background in, in video uh, planning and directing, um, creative ideas for special effects that will not try and compete with Sesame Street, but will show, you know, that this is really part of the imaginary world of children. Um, and what, one of the areas I heard was you're looking maybe for some local authors of children's books to actually yes. read their books and so that people yes. can connect with that, yes. uh, with well, that author. For example, Kath Kathleen, uh, C Kathleen Contreras wrote Pan Dulce, and it's a story of a Hispanic bakery or a Mexican bakery and she said that that would be a dynamite book for children because then they could go to the local bakery even if it's just a walking trip. Some bakeries will let the children come back in the back and see what goes on in the baking process and that opens up a whole world of other adventures that children can have with their parents. And we feel that that regular um, use of literacy in the family is more important than the amount of time so if a parent has very little time, is working, uh, maybe the child is under some other adult for daycare, these videos would help the whole family find ways that they could interact with that young child through well, books. Let's talk a little bit more about the adult literacy too. To, uh, the mm -hmm. adult literacy programs, how would, if I had someone who really, uh, we've seen this with computers where I've got moms coming in at night to their, because their kindergartner can work the computer and they can't. and. Uh, with El Centrito de la Colonia, they've mm -hmm. uh, really had an excellent program in terms of introducing people to uh, use of computer, including my wife. Uh, in terms of adult literacy, what, what kinds of programs do the libraries offer? What, what times of day? Or um, For information on the adult literacy program, they probably would need to contact me, mm -hmm. um, either by email or to go onto the Venco Library website. Um, and look to see what the adult literacy program offers. Generally, it's one-on-one -on -one tutoring where we have a tutor that will work with the client. All the materials are free. The client sets their own goals, decides what would they like to achieve. And it may be something as simple as reading a bus schedule, or it could be something like, I'd like to read aloud to my children and feel fluent. So uh, that would be the best way to contact the adult literacy pro program. And then as far as computer classes, Ventura, account, or the Ventura Library E.P. Foster on Main Street in Chestnut is looking to develop classes for use of their 26 computer lab uh, to teach basic skills to adults. That's still in the planning process. Well, 26 computers sounds like well, almost mm -hmm. enough to get a program started. I think so. Uh, Lori, uh, You've done an excellent job. I really look forward to, to uh, working with Ventura Reads uh, and, and joining our uh, Reach Out and Read program to yours so that we can really bring those pediat pediatricians, the 
family practitioners, uh, nurse practitioners, physician's assistants, whoever interacts with children. Uh, we have an active public health nurse uh, program, particularly for families at risk. Uh, so I think we're going to really see our arms 